This will be a video update on my remote controlled Vincent toy. Uh, the last time a video I had, I showed using this remote, which is basically a three channel or three function remote. It controlled the, the uh, motors in the feet and the one in the head. I've replaced it with this one, which has a different receiver board uh, that controls, it's called a 15 channel remote. Uh, I've got it controlling two uh, motors in this the feet a motor that runs these laser weapons in and out, the motor in the head, and also uh, LEDs that flash. You can turn them on and off. I'll turn it on now and uh, demonstrate it. First we turn this on, then we turn the robot on. Hopefully that'll stop flashing and bind. You can see I've added a little display in the front, something to let me know that the thing's operating. I call it the heartbeat display. Well, Remote I had before, I had this same remote before, but it wouldn't work, so I ordered, an, ordered another one, and this one seems to be working, so let's demonstrate it. Forward, reverse. It is getting more tipsy now as it gets heavier. I may have to do something about that. This button here controls these laser weapons in and out. Once you get them out, or it'll work either way, in or out. You can push that button to flash for red LEDs in there. And of course the head still works. The button's on top when the shoulders control that. Gives it some personality. It still goes all the way around. We put the laser weapons back in. I still haven't got all the, everything working yet. These will just be poseable in the end. Uh, I, want, I once thought I might make these spring loaded so they could grip, but I'm not sure about that now. Spent a lot of time working on the project, and I'm frankly, I'm getting kind of tired of working on it. Uh, the other thing, these, uh, these are just poseable. I probably need to wait, make some way to uh, lock those in. Something to put tension on them so they don't just flop around. Here's a close-up of the display. There are, uh, I don't know if you probably won't be able to see them. Maybe it'll... There are two 8x8 LED matrix displays in their 20 millimeter square, and it's controlled by a Arduino Micro. It's a smaller, it's like a Nano, it's only a different processor, and it, the form factor is just a little bit smaller. This whole thing will come out as a self-contained unit, so I wanted to, that's why I didn't use a Nano. I couldn't get it to fit if I used a Nano as a self-contained unit. I'll open it up in a minute to... These have got little slip clutches on them. You can probably hear them. They're still running even though they're stopped. There's no limit switch or anything like that. It's just an O-ring based slip clutch type thing. I'm not sure if it's what I'll go with in the end, but it seems to work okay. Drives really well. Controls really well. Kind of fun to play with. I would have liked to have had it when I was a kid. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to take the top off and show in the back and show what's inside as best I can. Uh, this is a motor that. Well, I'll turn it back on and maybe be able to demonstrate some of it. This is the motor that controls those uh, laser weapons coming in and out. I'll actuate it now and I'll try to yeah, maybe prop it up on something so I can... Well... I'm trying to get it to stand up to where it'll work. If it'll work. Yeah. 
be down in there. You can see the little arms that just flop around. A lot of wiring now, unfortunately. Uh, down in there, let me put those back in. Down in there, that lit up thing is the Arduino. I'll take the back off. Maybe we can see. Right now, this is just press fit, or not press fit, it's just friction. There's no, oh, it's working pretty well. There's nothing to hold it in there. I haven't decided what to do about that. You can see the, the Arduino down in there all lit up. This is the board for this controller receiver board. Uh, maybe you can see the, some more of the, need to work on the wire and that's for sure. Let's see the top the head work. These are, I don't know if I showed that or not. I think I did the flashing LEDs, or just flashing. Each one is independent, so eventually they get out of sync. If you push the button the other way, it doesn't do anything. There's just a, a diode in there, and it's like a motor. As far as the receiver board is concerned, it's just a motor. There's a diode in there that keeps the... Uh, reverse voltage from getting too high in those LEDs. I'm not sure how much they'll handle. So it was just a shocky diode in there, however you say that word. These are clear, well, clear filament. So this part is, you can see these are the little slip clutches down in here. Not sure if it, I like the way they're working or not. They're just an O-ring based type thing. Just an O-ring sitting inside of a drum. I tried putting two O-rings in there, but it stalled out the motor. But it does seem to be working. I thought about doing some type of ma magnetic uh, slip clutch, but uh, I, I just couldn't get it worked out. I like the little display. It's not perfect. You can see some like shadowing or something. It's just a little program, very simple program. Basically, the Adafruit uh, live oh these displays or Adafruit displays, and uh, I used just a Adafruit uh, example library and just did some modifications to it. Looks okay, not perfect, and they're not the right color, but I, I think white would have been the color, but they don't have a white uh, display in stock. Let's see if there's anything else I wanted to show. Oh, I think my print kind of messed up. It pulled a little off the bed right here. Not as good as the first print. This is like, this is the second iteration of this middle part. It's kind of a big part. I don't like to print it. But the first iteration fit much better, much better. I think it just pulled a little off the bed here. Little board carrier in there. Lots of wires. It gets the wiring gets overwhelming pretty fast. This has a programming function. I just haven't got it to work yet. I've, you're supposed to be able to long press that button and record record uh, movements and then play them back, but I haven't got it to work yet. Trying to decide if there's anything else I need to show. Well, I think that's about it. So, 
Thanks for watching.